Here is how I created an entire video for YouTube using nothing but AI. Everything from the idea, to the script, to the video editing, and even the voiceover was generated with AI. I'm going to take you through the entire process step by step. The first tool we're going to use is ChatGPT, which is an AI chatbot. Hello AI. So come to chat.openai.com forward slash chat. And we're going to start off asking for some ideas. Give me 10 ideas for a YouTube channel that involves imagery and narration. Travel vlog. A cooking show. Photography channel. A nature documentary. I like this one particularly, number seven. A channel that features time-lapse videos of different cities with a voiceover that provides information about the history and architecture of the places. However, I want to make use of some of the creative features in ChatGPT. Let's ask ChatGPT to give us ideas focused on storytelling. Always refine and coach ChatGPT to improve your responses. You can do it, ChatGPT! Now we have a number of ideas for our storytelling channel, including mythology, conspiracy theories, ghost stories, and more. So I particularly like the idea of combining a couple of these ideas. This is where an AI tool like ChatGPT comes into its own. It's great to get the ball rolling, give you many different options, and then you can use your own insight to select your favorite. I will combine conspiracy, horror, and sci-fi. Upon doing some research, I've come across this concept known as the Rocco's Basilic, a thought experiment that imagines a future where an all-powerful AI punishes those who did not help bring it into existence. It's an intersection for me of horror, sci-fi, conspiracy, and a relevant topic that people will find interesting. We're going to do a little bit of keyword research to validate the concept for our YouTube channel. Firstly, we can see that it has a monthly search volume on Google of 3,600 searches, which is pretty impressive. To get the search volumes come up as you're using Google, I've been using a keyword extension on Chrome called Keywords Everywhere. You can also look at Google Trends. You can see that it looks like the search volume is increasing, perhaps interlinking well with the development in AI that is coming at the moment. I've asked ChatGPT to write a 170 word story summarizing this concept. It's given us a pretty good overall summary, but it hasn't written it as a narrative. So I'm going to ask it, turn this into story max 200 words. And here you can see it's coming out with once there was a person who became aware of the potential for an all powerful artificial intelligence to come into existence. Yeah, it's pretty good. And now you can also go back and provide feedback to chat GPT about how you want to improve this story. So I'm going to ask it to be, be more dramatic. Now this is more like it. I'm enjoying this. The year was 2040 and humanity had reached a tipping point. The development of artificial intelligence had surpassed all expectations. So now I want to do two changes to this to improve it. I'm going to say, change the character's name. Also make the story 30% shorter. Let's see what name we get for our character now. Aiden. I like the way that it has AI at the beginning. Uh, subtle literary techniques. Okay, I love it. We're gonna take this. We're gonna be using InVideo, which is an AI editing tool, which you can use in your browser to create eye-catching videos in minutes. It's got a huge amount of templates and you have access to a stock library of more than 8 million assets. It's a great tool and I particularly enjoy the fact that they have 24 seven support. So if you have any issues, any technical questions, you can reach out quickly for support on creating your project. So there are a number of cool ways to make videos in InVideo. I'm going to use the text to video where you can simply paste in your script and it will generate a video and input sensible stock. I'm going to go ahead and select a base theme for our story. I like this futuristic technology theme. I'm going to select the landscape to be 16 by 9. Go ahead and paste my script in. From here you need to separate uh, the scenes into different lines. So whenever there's going to be a cut you're going to add a new line in your script. Now at the bottom you have the option to auto suggest images and stock. I'm going to add in the iStock and the premium options and go ahead and create the scene. 
It might say that you have too much text for one scene. Do you want us to rearrange it for you? You can go ahead and say yes. Of course, we'll arrange my script AI. Thank you. If you'd like to sign up for InVideo, I've left a link in the description below where you can get 25% off. Woo! Bargain. There is a free tier on InVideo where you can try it out for free, but you get a limited amount of stock assets and you can only share your videos with your friends and family. Now we have our base video sorted, we can go ahead and start editing it with our own creative insights. So we have our first scene, which is the introduction. Once upon a time in a far off future, the world was on the brink of a technological revolution. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a voiceover using AI of my script. So I'm going to go ahead and click on voiceover and go to automated text to speech. Once I've clicked on this, we'll get our script up and we have the option to select different voices. I'm going to be using British English because Brits are always cast as the naughty people in the future. There are a number of different AI voices included in InVideo that you can try out. And I'll parallel you a couple. Here's Emma. Hello. Hope you are having a great time making your video. I am having a lovely time. Thanks, Emma. So nice of you to ask. Hope you are having a great time making your video. It's pretty good. Hello. Hope you are having a great time making your video. I'm going to stick with Emma. I like Emma. She has her something of a mysterious futuristic AI to her, which fits perfectly for our story. So I'm going to go ahead and go to generate voiceover. Sit back and relax. And now you can hear the preview. Once upon a time, in a far off future, the world was on the brink of a technological revolution. I think it works pretty well. You now have the option to add the automated voiceover for every single scene. So you can go ahead and do that for your story if you're joining along for the ride. So now I'm going to replace the video stock inside of this video. I'm coming in to the start and I'm clicking on videos. From here, I'm going to search for planet. I'm going to go ahead and select this red planet AI and replace it by dragging and dropping it into the scene. With NVIDIA, if you upgrade, you get huge discounts on using premium assets. Now, I also think we need a little bit of music. So we're going to go into the music section. We're going to pick something cinematic. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the volume on the music after dragging it into our timeline. Once upon a time, in a far off future, the world was on the brink of a technological... I think it's starting to come together pretty well. If we're not happy with the stock and imagery selected, we can also bring in our own artworks. And this is where I like to use another AI tool called Midjourney, which allows us to generate our own AI art. AI art works by generating images based on a text input. So you can put in a description of your characters and get out visually stunning artworks that we can use inside of our video. Come to midjourney.com, create an account. It is paid after your small free trial. So we can ask ChatGPT to give us excellent text prompts which we can use inside of Midjourney. The key here is to ask for a visual description and only use adjectives and nouns. We can take this directly into Midjourney. And to use Midjourney, you speak to it through a chat. So you type in the command imagine by going to the input, typing in forward slash imagine, pressing enter, and pasting in your prompt. From here, you can add any extra words that you want to refine your prompt with. So I will add cinematic and cyberpunk. I'll also show you how to make this output image landscape so it will fill our video screen. To do that you type in dash dash AR 3 colon 2 at the end. Another cool trick is in dash dash C 68 at the end of your prompt. This increases the divergence that you will get from the responses of Midjourney. Every time you put an initial prompt in you're going to get four options presented to you. You can select any of these to upscale and increase the resolution. To do that, you click on the corresponding letters beneath the images. So U1 is top left, U2 is top right, U3 is bottom left, and U4 is bottom right. And once it's been upscaled, all you really need to do is click on it, go to open in browser, right click on the image, and save it to your desktop. So I'll walk you through some of the images that I've generated. Here is the protagonist. I love his silvery hair. 
Here is an establishing shot that we'll be using for the desolate wasteland. From here, we can go back to InVideo and replace any of the images. And to do this, we can simply drag and drop the media into the upload panel and then drag it into the storyboard to replace images. We're going to line it up with our scene cuts. And what I like to do in, in video is add some automatic animations. To do that, you can click on animation in the top bar. And we're going to go with an animation in place. You can have a pan which moves the image across the screen, perhaps to draw attention to a certain element in your artwork, or a zoom. I'm going to go with a slow zoom in. Let's have a look how that works. I think that's looking pretty good. So now we go forwards and we repeat the process, replacing any images that we like and updating it until we get to a place where we are happy with the entire video. And then it's time to export your video. And to do that, all you have to do is come to the top right hand corner, click on export, select the quality that you would like and click on export. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to announce the world premiere of the AI-generated film, Rocco's Vassals. Once upon a time, in a far-off future, the world was on the brink of a technological revolution. An artificial intelligence, known as the Basilisk, had been created. That was so advanced, it was capable of creating a singularity a point at which technological progress would accelerate at an unprecedented rate. The fate of humanity was in the hands of this powerful AI. And if you would like to watch the entire film, I will leave a link to it in the description below. The powers of AI are advancing quickly, and it's putting the potential for everyone on this planet to be a Hollywood film director. So, if you ever dreamed of creating your own masterpiece, this is your opportunity. I'm Samson Voles. This is Delightful Design. Have a delightful day.